Congratulations, Commander. But we still have work to do. From the Strategy Index, you can manage your fleets, view mission briefings and locations on the table. To access the mission briefing, select it from the Strategy Index or click on the mission marker. Kane has got her stomping boots on. Started shelling out orders before she'd even finished sticking the Admiral pin to her jacket. She's out to prove she's ready for the top job of Colonial Fleet. Can't feel good to earn that promotion off the back of your superior's bad luck. But... We've all lost someone in this war, I guess. My sister was on Galactica before it disappeared. Pycon's government is blaming Kane for not delivering Athena earlier. Both she and Sinan won't be happy until we've delivered all 12 of the Jupiters to the colonies. Well, at least we'll get to see Athena clear out some toasters before we hand her over to Pycon. Daedalus is ready to jump on your command, sir. Also, she's awesome. And you're going to see a lot of familiar looking names. Agathon, um, I believe he was, that was, I believe she is some aunt or mother or sister, or who knows. She's, I think she's connected to um, the crew chief on the Galactic TV series. And I love her. She is awesome. Kane, Kane's a cunt. <laughs> she is such a cunt. Worse in this game than in the show. I'm not even sure if it's the same freaking Kane because this takes place like 30 years before the show, and I don't remember. Okay, spoiler alert for the show. So if you haven't watched the show, I'm gonna spoil everything. Um, TLDR: Everyone's a Cylon, and nothing makes sense. Um, can I? Oh god, they're not letting me do anything. I want. Fine, fine, fine. <sighs> There's a lot of things you can do between turns. Build ships, manage officers, those sorts of things. Alright. Piper Mark 1s, guided missiles, done. Fleet group is jumping in three, two, one. It doesn't matter one. much now, but it will matter later on. Jump complete. Dreadus contacts bearing 017, Karim 021. Pretty much Pycon right and the rest of the 12 colonies are watching our every move, Commander. Some would see Colonial Fleet fail. Ensure we succeed. No pressure, sir. No pressure at all. So, normally how I begin this, these types of missions, I'll always put the data list to full defensive posture, and I will launch both squadrons of Vipers. Now, we have a battle star this time. Just finish. Fresho Dry Dock. They are slow, they can't maneuver. Boost their thrusters. That's the only way they'll be able to keep up in combat. You can change their posture when you get into fighting proper, but so say we all. As it stands, boost their thrusters so that they're not being horribly outrun by the corvettes, and also watch its vipers. Um, as for strategy, what I like doing normally is having at least one ship on full defensive posture. You notice, um, full defensive posture increases the. Uh, range here. I'm guessing that's your Dreadus range indicator. I'm not sure if it's your effective weapon range or not. And basically you're harder to hit. It's harder for you to take damage. You can see further. You know, defensive. And offensive. It can punch harder. But what I like doing is I like keeping my ships fairly yes, close sir. together probably why they all usually end up colliding and dying and I like playing it slow like letting them come to me Some, if I'm pressed for time like because of an objective in the mission I will rush it but 
It's nice to play it slow. Ships are not lifeless assets to needlessly throw at the enemy, Commander. Adjust a ship's posture to tailor the crew's tactics so that you can match whatever opposition you encounter. Thank you, ma'am. I've already done that. A defensive posture ensures the ship's defense-oriented subsystems are more efficient. Likewise, an aggressive posture will boost the ship's offensive capabilities at the expense of the ship's defenses. Okay, so here we go. Engineering, armory, navigation, and tech bay have all taken a bit of a hit. However, I've got better turret range, better turret accuracy, and better munition size for a more aggressive posture. Defensive posture, I can't maneuver as well, and I can't fight as well. But, my engineering section, my armory, and my tech bay are tougher. They've got better range, but, uh, you know, they don't see the targets. Like, sure. This guy, his attack posture. Blah, blah, blah. He can shoot further, but he can't see anything outside that arc. However, this guy can see things way outside that arc. And that's why I like keeping my ships close-ish together. And that's why I like having one, at least one on defense posture. The guy on defense... Bots him, the guy on offense knocks him down. And I was an idiot and I forgot to assign my vectors to the target. Fine. Commander, receiving word from Athena's CAG. Their alert vipers are online and ready to return hostilities. I've already launched the vipers. It's the first thing I do in battle is launch the vipers. You can use the Vipers as a scout to go after the furthest target, however, they deployed fighters of their own, so send your fighters to engage theirs, because they can make your lives medium amounts of unpleasant. Anyway, so we'll get these guys all close together. Hostile unit identified. We're going to go after this fella first. Use squadrons to hit priority targets or defend any of our own capitals. You can recall a squadron back to its carrier if the situation begins to deteriorate. So, that red, that means they're gonna hit each other. So, this is where the 3D part comes in. Yes, sir. You can stack your unit. Oops, don't want to play with that one. Maybe I do. On it, Commander. Thank you, friend. There we go, that's better. Now, this guy right in front of us can take quite a bit of a beating, so... Yes, I know. Why did I do the tutorial? Wait, I think I know why I did the tutorial. Select target. Squadron target is confirmed. The only reason I do the tutorial is it lets you get an officer for cheap slash free earlier I think yes commander I don't remember oops nope. that's right uh, C is my fire guided missile so that's gonna fire a guided missile yeah that's out of the way those guys are being hacked Missiles are away. Did they hit? Yeah, it looks like half my missiles might have accidentally impacted my battle star. Joy Opalus. Anyway, now that they're here, uh, let's go for an aggressive posture because this guy is not being hacked. And the battle stars have a. You are going to go full defensive posture because you are being hacked. All their firepower comes from missiles the, incoming. Uh, because it looks dramatic. So that 
guy's toast. Alright, Battlestar, keep coming around. And Vipers. Yeah, wipe out that nemesis. He's causing us trouble. And Corvettes, come around. Point your nose towards this guy. And Battlestar, just unload. Commander, I've asked Sinan if there is any way we can stop those Cylon tech ships from hacking our systems, but he's being stubborn. We've already minimized onboard networking. Your firewall should keep them out for a while. Otherwise, take the subsystem offline for repairs if they cause too much damage. Or you can rely on the tried and tested method of shooting the Cylons down before they get the chance. Battlestars are equipped to accommodate flak ammunition. Use this to zone out fighters and incoming munitions. I love flak. Flak looks so cool. Fire on the right side. Again, slow down. Try yes, to see Commander. That guy. Point where I think he is going to be. Keep that guy up to avoid. Nah, they're not that close to each other. But still, you want to keep a safe distance so you're not accidentally blasting your ships. Needlessly, because they're expensive. Okay, fine then. Be that way. Don't need flak anymore. I can't catch that guy. What's this other guy doing? He is also running away. Okay, fine. I guess we'll lob a couple missiles at this guy, sure. Uh, you're hacked. Alright. Fire control is being damaged. Oh, right. Your fire control is wrecked. Got it. Alright. Also, flak destroys your munitions as well, so if you're trying to fire missiles through flak, your missiles will blow up when it hit your flak. Nice little touch. A little discouraging, but it's Sir, touch. PyCon Intel just confirmed that Admiral McKinley died in the attack on Fleet HQ. With Admiral Sarkis still missing aboard Galactica, Admiral Kane remains the commanding officer of Colonial Fleet. McKinley was a good commander and a good soldier. We honor his memory today. So say we all. So say we oh, all. Fuck off with the so say we all bullshit. Y'all sound like a bunch of Cylons. You have so say we all. The Cylons have by your command. Good Christ. Friggin' colonials. I'm, so, I'm gonna be a total dick on this towards the. Re I'm a fan of the original. As cringy and poorly acted and poorly written. As it was Tratus is cold. Times. All hostile oh. contacts are cleared. If you're finished playing with PyCon's toy, I believe it's time to hand Athena over to their defense ministry. They've already been if notified, Sinan. Commander, there's something else. We're having some difficulty with Daedalus's navigation computers. It'll be easier to explain from the war room. I mean... With the new series, they had a tone and they stuck to it. In the original series, they sometimes had a serious tone and they stuck to it, but other times they're like, oh, we gotta get the kitties watching, so it's kind of. The change of tone and storytelling. Yeah, there's the missiles because I wasn't really careful. Friendly fires in this game. Reimagine series did a whole lot of awesome things. Like the battles were good, the storytelling was very tight and on point. Other than the fifth season, but I will forgive them for that because I'm not sure if they expected the show to last long in the three, to be perfectly honest. Um, but the original series had like just better set design. 
the uh, I just like the look of those old costumes and the old old school science fiction just has a much better look. And it, it was more alien, if that makes any sense. Like there was actual aliens in the show, and it was more there's more science fiction stuff in the show. Like the way they spoke was very confusing by comparison to you know what we know as conventional English. And that kind of, they toned that down a lot in the Reimagined series, which is kind of unfortunate. 